This week marks the 75th anniversary of the first all-woman air show in the world. It was held right here in Tampa at Peter O'Knight Airport on Davis Island during a time when women weren't even allowed to compete with men. So these women created an event of their own. And this weekend at the very same airport, their efforts will be celebrated with a local gala supporting future female pilots. Aliyah Lacayo says in the cockpit is where she belongs. The 21 year old student pilot is almost done with her first certificate to get her wings. Growing up, um, being a pilot was kind of in the back of my head, always one of those like, yeah, I want to fly planes. But it's one of those things that it's like, you want to fly planes. Like it's like such a big, big dream, almost like out of your reach kind of thing. I got older and I was like, no, I. I want to fly planes and I'm going to make that happen. According to the Federal Bureau of Labor Statistics, women in aviation account for less than 8% of pilots in the industry. Sarah Benke, manager of business and administration for general aviation at Tampa International, wants to change that. We're great at what we do, you know, and I think we contribute a lot to the industry and uh, we really need more women to, to get into it. This week marks 75 years since the first all women's air show in the world held right here at Tampa's Peter O'Knight Airport in 1947. Florida native Betty Skelton raced and flew aerobatics in the air show that day. Skelton wasn't well known, but she ended up leaving her mark in aviation. She broke more automotive and aviation records than anyone in history, and that's including men. She went on to become an international aerobatics champion. After she conquered aviation, she went on to become a professional race car driver with Chevrolet. All of that started right here with her pilot's license at Peter O'Knight Airport. In honor of Skelton's legacy, Peter O'Knight is hosting a fundraising event this weekend called GALA, Girls Achieving Leadership in Aviation. Money raised will go to a newly created scholarship in her honor, supporting women with the same dream. Isn't that awesome? And the gala event is open to the public, so come out and check it out. It is tomorrow night. That is Saturday, March 19th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. We've put everything you need to know on our website, 10tampabay.com.